Howdy, Howdy Cowboys. Cowboys! This is Yvonne. This is Adam. This is Cameron. And this is this week's episode of Cowboy TV. Take, take a, a... Take a look! <laughs> Cowboys. I'm Brianna Eckhouse, serving your day the cowboy way. Attention seniors, there are college visits happening in the Career Center. Vassar College will visit on October 24th during fifth period. University of Missouri will visit on October 25th during lunch. UC Santa Barbara will visit on October 27th during lunch. And Fresno Pacific College will visit on October 31st at 8 a.m. And Gonzaga University will visit on October 31st at 10 a.m. Please get a permission slip from the Career Center if you would like to attend these college visits. Attention seniors, counselors will be holding college applications workshops in the Career Center. Please plan to attend one if you would like help on your applications. Workshops will be held on October 12th, 13th, and 20th during lunch, and October 19th and 26th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Have a great week, Cowboys. Good morning, Cowboys. I'm Emma Garcia here today doing girls sports. And I'm Dylan DeWeese here with boys sports. Starting you off is girls tennis. On Tuesday, October 11th against Alvarez at Alvarez, varsity will start at 4 o'clock. And on Thursday, October 13th against Christopher at Christopher, varsity will start at 4 o'clock. And for girls volleyball, on Thursday, October 13th against Alvarez at Alvarez, JV will start at 5 and Varsity will start at 6.30. And on Tuesday, October 18th, against Monta Vista at Monta Vista, JV will start at 5 and Varsity will start at 6.30. And for girls field hockey, on Wednesday, October 12th, against Greenfield at Salinas High, JV will start at 7.15 and Varsity will start at 6 o'clock. And big congrats to girls water polo on being 8 and 0. Tonight at 4 o'clock, Varsity will go against Catalina at Catalina. Good luck, guys. On Tuesday, October 11th, the boys' water polo team will go against Palma at Hartnell. JV will start at 5, Varsity at 6. On Thursday, October 13th, Aptos will go against Salinas at Aptos. JV starts at 5, Varsity at 6. The boys' cross-country team will be a part of the Monterey Bay Invitational on Saturday, October 15th. That will be at Toro Park starting at 9 a.m. And they will also participate in the third center meet on Wednesday, October 19th at Natividad Creek Park starting at 3.30. The boys football team will go against Hollister on Thursday, October 13th at the pit and Frost starts at 6. The boys football team will also go against Hollister on Friday, October 14th in the pit. JV starts at 5, varsity at 7.30. That's all we have for you today, Cowboys. I'm Dylan DeWeese. I'm Emma Garcia. We'll see you next, next time. time. Good morning, Cowboys. This is the Cowboy Surf Report. Um, we're here at Lower Manresa, and it's been a pretty good day. This week, you're going to be looking at a 3 to 5 up north, and as you go south, it might get a little bit bigger because it's more exposed to the winds. Yeah, yeah it's high tide going into lower tide right now, and the wax you want to use today is like a cool sex wax, the green box, and uh, a good board. It could be like a beater, something foam and short, or like twin fin or a quad just so you can slip around and get into it. Let's get whammed. Nice day outside. It's nice. It's pretty, pretty. You can see the moon. There's it's a nice sunset. Crescent moon. Um, is it glad to see your wings? Gorgeous sunset. Yeah. It's nice. Ah! Uh, out here! Oh. <laughs>
I'm Mrs. Scott. I teach Math 3 right now, um, regular and honors. What do you think about the school giving kids Chromebooks? I think it ex it's exciting. I'm able to explore all the different graphs using Desmos, but then I worry also about the loss. What do you think that technology will take over the classroom? No, I don't think technology will ever take over the classroom because they need us. They need the one-to-one. -one. You can't ask a computer a question and get an immediate answer. So are you for this integration for tech into the classroom or are you against it? I like technology in the classroom, but I think we need to be careful and not use it just to say we're using technology. Use technology so it makes the classroom better, not so that it takes the classroom over. What are some other concerns you have with this tech? Mostly just loss. I worry about young people who can't afford to replace it. Let's say they take it home and somehow um, a brother or sister or cousin uses it and loses it or breaks it, now they have to pay for it. What are some things you're looking forward to though? Some things I'm looking forward to is um, the exploration of different kinds of functions. Um, I've also used it for the definition of terms that they don't know. So I like using it as a, as a tool. Well thank you for this time. It was a great chat. Thank you. Have a good day. I'm Desmond with Cowboy TV, signing off.